while the townspeople were in church, 50 ships silently entered Southampton Harbour, French and Genoese soldiers, and merchantly stormed the town, attacked residents and looted their possessions and set fire to the buildings. When Eric III heard about the raid and loss of his iron wall, he furiously commanded a wall to be built to protect it against future attacks. Merchants like John Whitegod were forced to block up the entrances to the quay side warehouse to build the defences after here you see today. The old town was the breath of July, 14 to July, 1883. watched her sister took the first prize dressed in a green flannel gown. Her hand hair in a leather bag and oil silk feather to preserve her feet. Full hair in curl. Poets and artists were inspired by the panoramic view from the side of the town. The boats moored in the harbour and wooded, and the wooded hills beyond. In Norman times, West Heath, Heath Clay was, was a bustling water was a bustling waterfront lined with the houses of the wealthy merchants. After the French raided in 1338, the merchants were forced to move and their houses were blocked up to create the town walls. You can still see the outline of the medieval doorways and windows. Fiddle's Gate was locked at night to keep out raiders and maintain great expense. In 1489, a new lock was made at the cost of 23 fourths, nearly 600 pounds today. I, John Lillibo, lay of the town of Southampton, have received and held from John Soren Redder King, the collectors of the customs and subsidies of the king, 40 pounds of legal money for England, the relief and support of the Royal State Courts and Wars Foundations, 1478.
grand entrance, this one. You travel in the footsteps of generations of townspeople, visitors and kings and queens who came to Southampton to trade or sail from its port. Local taxes were collected on, the, on goods, entering or leaving the town, and Bargate was used as a courtroom to sit until the 1930s. It was also a venue for all important civic functions and public entertainment. In 1583, Lord Strange's company of players, who, who William Shakespeare was a member, performed here. A pair of lions has guarded the gateway since the early 1600s. First bar gets gate by North, Large and Imagine. In the upper plate of this gate is a dormant civil town hall and underneath is the town prison. Wow! Everything else, including the town centre, the gut, the quays, shops, everything really. That's why if you come here, it's such a great view. So come, come here next time on your um, holiday travels. on another video from ZAK TV. I am Miruka from ZAK TV. Goodbye.